I'm meteorologist Matt Gray. Picture perfect weekend across the inland northwest. Hope you got out and enjoyed some of that sunshine and the warm summer-like temperatures. In fact, we've got some more on the way, but it is going to cool down just a little bit and feel a little bit more like September as we hit over the next few days. For tonight, however, still feeling pretty summer-like. Upper 50s, we'll see a few clouds roll in, but skies should be mostly clear through the night. And as we head into Monday, we're talking about low 80s across the region instead of middle and upper 80s like we saw around the area today. Winds will turn to out of the south-southwest at around 5 to 10 miles an hour, and we'll see our skies turn cloudier and cloudier and cloudier as the day progresses. The reason why, we've got a weather system moving in, and you can see that big band of clouds that's pushing in to the Pacific coast. Uh, that is going to bring some rain to the west side, but we are going to stay dry. And quite frankly, there's not a lot of rain that Western Washington is expected to get out of this. Look for a couple showers in the North Cascades and right along the Canada border as we head through Monday in Okanagan County. Other than that, mainly it's just this extra cloud cover that we're going to see. It should be fairly quiet across the area. Otherwise, uh, really do not anticipate much, if anything. And you'll see the cloud covers start to break up kind of middle of the day on Tuesday, but for you Monday, certainly going to feel a little bit more like fall with those clouds. Now, this is all part of a short change up in our weather from the high pressure that's been sitting over us and these yellows and oranges to a little bit more of what we call a zonal wind flow, which means that uh, basically our winds are blowing almost due west to east in the upper atmosphere and things are fairly, well, normal by what we consider them. Now, high pressure is going to start building again as we head into next weekend. We start to see that approaching the weekend at the end of this upcoming week and then you can kind of see this uh, kind of uh, double pattern here. We're out west, we've got the yellows and the oranges, high pressure well, we got some blues in there, lower pressures as you work your way uh, into the Midwest and New England. In fact, what's going to be a big uh, teller in our forecast is actually going to be the path of Hurricane Lee and where the remnants of that storm eventually end up next weekend. That could go a long way in determining just how strong some of this high pressure becomes in our part of the world. After all, one piece of weather affects everything else. So certainly something that we're going to be watching very closely. Here's your planning forecast. Boy, some nice weather coming up. You can't ask for much better conditions than this. We're expecting more days in the mid-80s for the start of next weekend.